Alrighty, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a nice little game that we got going on here. ECAC round four. Fisher White going up against St. Clair Academy. Hardpoint Invasion should be uh, coming up here. There we go. Team names are nice and fine. Lovely knowing who is playing on which side. And well, off to the races we go with the map one. Matt can be going for a little bit of a push there. He said, Factions gonna be the first one to drop. Zyron also trying to put out a few shots. Not gonna be able to able to do a whole lot, but there you go. You're able to come around the side here as well. But it will be Fisher College starts off with the opening time right now. They got some control and well, Zyron's really pushing for that P2 side. Rare going down there as well. And well, St. Clair's pushing up on P1. Some good kills coming through for them. And a nice little spawn flip as well. I mean, they can deal with number three here in mid. Factions can't quite get that kill. So Fisher Collis, they'll be still walking away with quite a bit of time on P1 now, but they do lose again those spawns over towards P2. So Fisher Collis should be walking away with the lead right now, but the question is, can they hold it over into P2 right now? Daddy Esco trying to push from the back does get cut down. It'll be Zarin that pushes onto this hill quite some time, and it's a fairly even scoreline heading into P2 right now again. So the P2 side for the side of St. Clair are going to be nice to have, and, well, it's really going to put a lot of pressure into Fisher College. They're going to have to start to go into a little bit of a bottleneck, but they do start to break through. Zarin, of course, has gotten taken down there in that corner. And Fisher College does get the break. They don't have the spawn, but you know what? If you can hold this P2 time, that is fine for you. You're fine just chilling on the point, having St. Clair try and push you on this point. Fisher College, you keep these spawns, you can transition nicely into P3 as well. Wait, there's one, wait, there's two, maybe a third, but I think it's gonna be snapping coming in, trying to get a trade. I don't think it's quite quick enough. There you go. Eventually, a snapping does get that kill a little bit sooner, but still get the kill nonetheless. And it's still Fisher College. It's a little bit of lead. It's really just scrap time here as those snapping's gonna be chilling on that. St. Clair, the rest of the play for the side of. Fisher College is well rotating over to the P3 now. So we can sort of switch opposite sides of the map. Go from one street over to the next. Matt, a nice little angle. You're able to find one rare trying to challenge that. But Matt, well, you're going to get the kill there. And Factions maybe adding. Yep, <laughs> adding to Matt's collection there. As you're on a three streak. Eight and three to your name so far. Well, it's Fisher College. Nice healthy lead so far. St. Clair, though, with the spawns in the back, they're able to start to push onto the point. There you go. GMG. Able to find two rare with one, and that's a nice wave of kill that you'll want to see for the side of St. Clair. There you go. Another kill coming through. And try and lock up time on P3 here. Frister College, you try and push this a little bit, but there's not a whole lot of time left. It's, you know, scrap. Trying to really hold more to that P1 side. Think about the next hill. You still have a lead. But St. Clair closing that gap. Getting their way back into the game. Again, a few more gunfights going down and coming up. Fisher College will be in control. Ooh, but a nice little win there. The stuns and knees start to come through. Rare's gonna be sort of in a nice little position sort of through mid. The rest of the team's gonna be spawning in the back. CMG with two, and that is a nice nice kill that you wanna see. But it's blue, Fisher College responding with a nice wave of kills of their own. Keeping this lead. Hopping on the time wave is a nice little corner as well. This is going to be a tough player to sort of uproot, take down. Number three on that side. Trying to sort of protect the front a little bit, but here you go. Wave pops up, finding two. Can't quite find rare. Rare is able to win that gunfight. Still comes some time. The question is are you going to be able to get some more of that scrap time, win the gunfight there? At the end of the day, unfortunately, not winning that. So Fisher College will be crossing that 100-point mark, it looks like, by the end of this fourth hill, heading into the fifth hill. St. Clair spawning on that P2 sides. They're going to have a little bit of a ways to go, a little bit of an adventure over towards the next hill. There we go. <laughs> Factions, nice little win on the hill. There you go. Checking that corner, making sure no one's being sneaky. Well, let's see the win. St. Clair starting to fight on this hill. Matt goes down as well, and St. Clair, I mean, they're just trailing. They've not been able to quite change that lead, but they've been right behind Fisher College, really, for Fisher College. Any big mistakes, and I think St. Clair could be there to capitalize. 
We have been going back and forth on some of these hills. Snap and says, I'm getting out of there. I'm rotating around. CMG, there you go. I think that call was made. That timing works out nicely for that turn. And St. Clair staying on this hill. Waves drops there. That should be about it. I mean, maybe number four challenging from the back, just based on the flank or based on the spawns. But ultimately, St. Clair walking away with a nice bit of time there. They're going to be down by about 30 points or so. Fisher College heading into this next set of rotations. Going to be battling for P1. Maybe challenging pushing out for those P2 spawns as well. See this push starting to come through a little bit. Two players through mid. Someone's got to hop that hill. Eventually, they decide who that player is going to be. I think right now opting not to advance just to sort of hold the line here right now. One comes in through dark though. Zarin with two, but it waves with a nice response on the other end with two of his own. This wave is just chilling at 20 to 12 for his kills and deaths. Daddy Esco, ooh, a nice little kill from him. Snapping with a pistol in the feed there as well. Fisher College now climbing up in that 150 mark. St. Clair, they're still fighting for 100. They're about 10 off of that. So it's about a full hill's worth of points. And near it's really what P1 was, was just a full wave of kills, full amount of time, or at least nearly. I think St. Clair maybe have, having a little bit of contest time on that, but not a whole lot. CMG, though, coming down. He's pouncing, finding two, maybe a third by the tractor. I don't think he really got much of an... Insight on that, but Matt is here. Trying to be that last man standing. Does get wiped away. Not a whole lot of reinforcements from Fisher College to hold on to that point. St. Clair able to hop back in. Battle their way back onto the point. Get a few good picks, but oh, snapping from the back, you're fine too. You're sort of weasel your way onto the point there. St. Clair would say, I don't even, I, I guess that was a flank from most happened. I actually don't even know if he spawned there. Nonetheless, still a nice play. St. Clair, though, putting that threat down pretty quickly. Now, next hill we go, P3. Number 7 going to be the one starting to advance there. Going to be winning a gunfight there on number 2, but you just don't have the numbers to fully confidently push this point. You don't really have that street side covered. You're going to need to use ARs. Start to watch that cross and a nice beam from Rare takes down Matt. But there's not really a whole lot of manpower here to try and push onto the hill, try and flood onto it. This waves that picks off Rare and well, Matt is chilling on the tank, and there you go, a nice kill from afar. Fisher College should be wrapping up this hill. Scrap time. St. Clair, this can be posted up over towards next. So that's, you know, a solid 15 seconds or so really free for the side of Fisher College. So they are over that 100-point mark now at St. Clair. Needs to start to get a little bit of a move on into this hard point. So everyone gets taken down on the street here. Faction spawning up. I mean, St. Clair right now, I mean, with their position, with their spawn, they have to lay down a whole lot of cover fire. Fisher College is not quite able to really confidently touch the point. But St. Clair, I mean, yeah, you keep Fisher College off this point, but you need to get some time of your own as well. Really, for Fisher College, they can afford to pretty much just let this hill go to the, that sort of neutral time. And if they have the setup right now, they have the side for next hill. Really, for them, possibly just delaying the inevitable. That Yesco is going to be a little bit of a nuisance here on the side of the tank. See how many players are going to be committed to try and deal with that. Looks like it was like two, maybe three players really dedicated to try and take down that threat. Matt just going to be chilling. Ooh. Tyler's maybe going to get that kill, but does not. And it's St. Clair. I mean, they got a few seconds off that, but now again, is that run over towards that next hill. Snapping just going to be chilling in the corner. Be able to get one. Waves with one as well. Snap and find a second. And well, one more player left to make the hero play. Zarin, can you get in? The answer is going to be no. And it's going to be Fisher College with a nice little win there for the map one. 250. 125.
Could be the score line there. For the side of Fisher College, I mean, really just firepower is there. They had some good breaks, and I think for them, they were really disciplined. Like, again, that, that P4, they didn't really need to get too aggressive, didn't really overcommit to that. They knew how to play that positioning for themselves. Oh, well, that set them up, and oh, well, that's the map one. Map two, though, that will be Invasion when we return here in a little bit. All right, folks, back into the game we go. S&D on Invasion. Fisher College taking the hard point on this map. See if St. Clair can respond with an S&D win on the map here. Factions. Gonna be getting a little aggressive here. Side of Fisher College not really pushing through mid, opting to more play somewhat conserv conservatively. And put their numbers on B. It's just that waiting game that Invasion so can so frequently be. Just waiting for that first pick. All about that timing. Sort of a little game of chicken. Who's going to be the one that makes that first move? Anyone overextending? Players going to be sort of over down their positions. But there you go. Rare finding one. I think there was some help from the teammate there as well. Rare does get picked off the tractor. That's going to open a little bit of space for Fisher College to start to advance onto the B site. Everyone trying to get hit with that nade is not going to connect. And here you go, Fisher College should be a nice free plant right now. Zarin can get an angle. I don't think he can, but Faction is on the other end. They're able to get one, and now it's a collapse in onto the point. Wave left alone. And well, you can't work magic. CGM will find the final two there. Gonna start things off nicely for St. Clair. And a nice retake as, as well. And it's just for that time. Those kills coming through Fish College. I mean, really for them, it just once you get the bomb down, you, you hope you could get set up when those gunfight wins, unfortunately, just does not quite work out. St. Clair. Pushing from all the angles, all the sides, winning all the key gunfights. Now we switch sides. It's St. Clair now on the attack. Fisher College will be on the defensive end. Need stuns. All getting tossed out. Ooh, nice little text. I thought maybe there was going to be a quick pick at the start there, but it does not end up happening. But Matt's able to line them up. Finds two. I don't know if you saw the third. But now a 2v4. Factions is able to get a nice pick onto O snapping. But St. Clair is so pushed far back in their spawn and Fisher College. They're just so aggressive. They just don't care now, which is rare left alone in the 1v3. Trying to get some picks, but you can't find that kill. And at the end of the day, again, it's just Fisher with that aggression. Once they know where that last player is, they're going hunting. It is a tough situation to get out of, that's for sure. Things tie themselves up 1-1. Fisher College taking their opening. Oh, sorry, no, it's St. Clair taking their opening defensive round. Fisher taking their opening defensive round as well. Knight is still young, but we'll see how things 
turn out if we're going to be seeing sort of a defensive side back and forth. Is Matt also on that three streak as well that I'm seeing too? He's a four and one. Through halfway to, to, to cruise. I don't think at this stage you really want to play for that in particular, but... Well, Matt, if you're taking kills like that, maybe you start to think about that cruise and rare goes down, Matt finding that kill. And all of a sudden, just one more kill is all you need for the cruise. Opting to start to get the bomb down, though. Oh, snapping. He's going to get the comms out, saying he knows exactly where both those players are. May lose the gunfight. That intel is going to be valuable for your remaining teammates. Now this push starts to come through. Matt, again, he's looking for the one kill for his cruise, but he doesn't get it! Just like that. CMG factions. Beautiful work to take the B site. That is a big round win as well. You take the win, you go up 2-1, you also shut down that cruise possibility. And if you're Matt, you're just... You're maybe not happy about that. You're going, I wanted to walk away with that round, at least with the cruise at the end of the day there. Would have been very nice to have early in the round. It can be a vital tool for later rounds, but so far it is going back and forth between these two teams. Fashion's going to be getting tagged. Start to push over it, bomb as well, looking to work its way onto the A site, but Matt with one, he's a little sneakerson over here. Not quite hot-handed enough to get the second. But his teammate trying to go for the trade. Ooh, I thought maybe for a second, Waves was just gonna flop on that, but it doesn't quite happen. There you go, Fisher College. Keep things tied up one, one uh, sorry, two, two. All right, Yesco getting that final pick. And it's interesting to see this back and forth right now. I think we saw a little bit of that in the hard point. Again, Fisher Collis are running away with that hard point in the end, but so far it is looking evened up in the S&D. Really a space where you can just sort of have moments where you can sort of uh, reset sort of between rounds to get those comms in, really get more coordinated with your with your pushes, your setups. More thought intensive kind of mode in general. And Zarin will find that first pick. Waves able to get a man for man trade. CMG with a quick response as well, so it is St. Clair with a life advantage after this first flurry of engagements. Fisher College in a 2v3 now. CM G just chilling on the top mid tank. Is that some free fire shooting at? No oh, shooting at there, really. Sinclair somewhat has an idea of this. He hit it certainly with CMG here. He's going to be that man. They're going to be looking for a, a pick on this push. Wave trying to catch him off guard. Doesn't quite happen though, but Zarn from the flank as well, though. This could be a nice little play. Waves finds one, but Zarn's with one as well. Zarn going for the kill as well. The big flank comes out. I think there's some comms there, but still, nonetheless. What would you like to see? It wasn't quite a 1v1, but it certainly seemed like it. Three, two, still going back and forth. Sinclair now doing doing half the work they need to to win the S and D. They've won three rounds. Got to go three more. Side of Fisher College, they've got to go four. Matt once again trying to be a big pain in the butt for the side of Sinclair as you find two once more. You're at nine and four on a two streak now. And CMG's going to be pushing through Matt. I mean, surely you know Matt's at least in that sort of mid-building, but maybe you just ignore that. 
Rick is caught on the street and well, CMG now. He's off finding one, but oh, he doesn't know their player. Turns the rear and well, oh, we're snapping. I think trying to go maybe for an execution. I don't really know, but eventually does opt to just end it. Yeah, <laughs> I think he was. Or melee or something. Just poor timing there, unfortunate. Just weren't expecting those two players on that backside. <laughs> backside tank. If you got those two picks, I mean, that round... Maybe seeing a... Go a little bit of a different way. Just not quite meant to be. Now 3-3. Three, three. I don't know if Waves knows that rare push that sort of inside block. Up with the first. Daddy Eska with one. Waves does get taken down, but he get control over the B site. You're able to get the bomb down, I think, here as well. Factions gets tagged. They know exactly where you are, and it's going to be a 1v3. Basically a 1v4 as that bomb is planted. Uh, the clock now too. Factions, a nice pick, but again that time taken down. And well, you're trying to find another kill if you can. You're trying to work your way as close as possible to the bomb, but just not in the cards. Solid winning an offensive round. I think that's the first offensive round we've seen with a victory, if I'm not mistaken here. Sort of. Changing things up a little bit. Breaking the norm. It's Fisher College in the first time on this map, and really, I mean, in S&D, there's not many times, but see that lead change. Now it's Fisher College with that slight edge, slight advantage. Oh, snapping. Can't quite win that gunfight there, and Oh, factions, you're, I think you're happy you missed that that leap there. You're able to find a nice free pick there. Opponent just laying down on the ground. And, well, it's down to the 1v4. Well, you start with one. Maybe you go for two. No, snap. Not quite there. And St. Clair now. 4-4, four, four, able to win an offensive round there as well. CMG, I mean, really being a, a powerhouse for the side of St. Clair so far. Saying, I'm not losing that gunfight. I'm not being a clip. Yeah, CM. Or it's not CM. So I think I'm. <laughs> GMG! <laughs> uh. GMG at 8 and 5. Action at 6 and 6 so far. Nice. That line's there on the other end. I mean, really, it's Matt just leading the way for his team. St. Clair a lot more evened out. Across the board. He's open with one Zarn with one Zarn with two. Maybe you're looking for the third. Just give it to him. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Now you're looking for the last one. Looking for the ace. He's lighting up. And I just want to see this. The 1v1 for the ace. Wave making his way over to A. Looking like maybe going for a little bit of a flank, possibly. Zarn's going to be playing this so patiently. But he is going to have to start to move. He is going to be the one that really needs to make a play here. I don't think he's going to be expecting this play from the back in number two. Coming so close, they're just behind the walls, and well, the bomb gets picked up. Zarin's already looking to turn away. He's out of there. Just chase me, track me down. You don't have the time. I don't think the plant and waves knows it. Zarin, cool under pressure. You don't get the win. <laughs> you don't get the kill for the ace, but you get the round win.
The mind over the gunny. Five, four. St. Clair just one round away from taking the invasion S and D. Fisher College. A little bit of pressure now. Now it's waves. It gets a little bit of a, a little bit of a scratch on on their opponent there, but and that I mean he's just been in these sneaky little corners, sneaky little positions. I don't think anyone's really expecting. So Matt, I mean he's still chilling in the corners, able to get the bomb planter. That's gonna be bombed down. Waves finding one, getting a trade. And now it's the 2v3. Baron Factions left to try and get the round win if they can. Factions going to be getting this bomb down. The bomb plan is successful, but Factions is not able to get out of there. And Rare goes down as well, and now it's Fisher College. Plenty of time for the defuse. You send it to the round 11. Well, there's no more rounds left after this. The round 11, tied up 5-5. This is really going all of two ways. Fisher College either going up 2-0. St. Clair tying it up 1-1. We'll see. Timer ticks on down, and there you go. Off they go. Final round of this S and D. You're gonna make an impactful play. Get that first blood. It's here that you want it. Zarin opens up for the first pick onto Waves. Esco getting tagged. They able to find one snapping with one as well. And just like that, things turning around a little bit. St. Clair now with the life disadvantage in a 2v3. Now it's GMG in the 1v3. Bomb is going to be down. Time also ticking down as well. And all the angles are going to be really covered trying to watch this bomb. And well, yeah, unfortunately, not able to make it happen. It's Fisher College. It does get the map two now, winning the round 11. 6 5 will be the score line here. Fisher College now with the opportunity to make it a 3 0 sweep. On the other end, St. Clair, it's what you like to see. You didn't win the map, but. I'd like to see they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Fisher College, but it'll be a high-rise control, I believe, coming up next when we return after this short break.
Alrighty, folks. Welcome to a map three high rise. Just a little bit of change of scenery now. Fisher College. Showing that you got the reps in invasion, St. Clair. Now on the back foot looking to come out big in the high rise. Start that road to a reverse sweep. Yes, and he was close. Now this is where you gotta put it together. Fisher College, though, they just they just gotta keep doing what they've been doing. Playing out, Matt. If you can keep that pace that you had in the S and D, you are gonna be a, a tricky player to deal with in high rise control. Right off the bat, Wave's gonna be chilling. He's going trying to get this first tick, and well, it's an unfortunate little team kill with the uh, environment. Always hate that on high rise. It is well, it's something I think everyone's done. <laughs> if you haven't gotten a, a team kill with <laughs> with those like the tankers or the fire extinguishers on this map, I, I don't know what you've been playing. It certainly has not been high rise. Unless still Fisher College getting aggressive. I mean, this is something to start off with the S and D. They're not afraid to get aggressive in the control. As that B zone is done, the A zone progress being made. The first tick is there. Looking for the second as well. It does get completed. So now you're looking for that third and final tick to seal the deal in this round. Factions starting to push forward, but it's GMG. Plank that makes sort of a savior play there. Thatch is now also able to make its way up here as well. Able to bend up Fisher College. That's what you like to see, but Esco now is going to be chilling back here on A. Now it's going to be a little bit of another clash between these two teams. Who's going to come out on top? And well, it's looking like it's going to be Fisher College. They're able to fend off St. Clair from another attack saying, hey, this time we're actually going to finish A. They'll go up. 1-0 in the control. Taking the first offensive round here. And St. Clair now switching up on the attack. Fisher College will be on the defensive side of things. And overall, right now, it's really just looking like for the side of St. Clair, if they're going to win this offensive side, you just have to shut down Esco. Have to shut down those snapping. Those snapping. I'm jumping off to the side there. Sort of a sneaky play already off the bat. But Waves finding two. Make that three. And well, snapping in the mix as well, but not in the way you want. And wait, I, he is just not scared. He is just going, I am an on a roll. Eventually does get shut down, but that confidence, that passion that Fisher College has right now. They have the life advantage as well. And this is defensive side. You can trap your opponents in the spawn trap here, which it pretty much seems to be roughly the case here. Matt coming around with a flank. His teammates able to find one there as well. Zarin trying his best for the top tanker. Start of recover some of these Fisher College players, but for right now, the time ticking down now, under 30 seconds left. St. Clair, they need to touch a zone. Factions with one, though, and maybe if you have some teammates here that can get some trades, you see yourself start to work your way onto A. Zarin getting that player down, down that I thought maybe St. Clair was going to miss and, and the callouts or something and not get that Intel that player was coming around the flank, but you get that kill, you're able to work your way onto A. Environment kill as well helps with Esco falling off the map. And St. Clair now. Showing they have some fight left. With the first tick, you're going for the second as well, but three drop, one left on the A zone. GMG is going to get caught. They know where you are. You get the kills. With that, the time should be running out here unless there's someone who can just touch the hill for the last little bit of time, but unfortunately not quite. At Fisher College now, 2-0. 
And Claire, I mean, you saw some aggression there. Again, they were able to get at least one tick there, but it's Fisher College that has just been controlling this map so far. Being able to get the kills and... He'll St. Clair. Able to get a wave of kill here and there, I think, but really, for the most part, it's just Fisher College. I mean, again, Esco, now 11 and 5. We'll snap in at 11 and 8. I don't think anyone has any cruises, though, for the side of Fisher College. They've been very, very aggressive, so I don't think they've really been playing too conservative once that sort of opportunity starts to arise. Starts to come into view. But for St. Clair, you're, again, looking for their first round. They need to go on a reverse sweep control. Start off a reverse sweep of the series. Send off this attack on B. Oh, they got close, only really like a, a half tick, but that slowly getting sort of sweeped away. As if it never really happened there. Fisher back. Back at it. Rare's gonna be just chilling at the top. Kelly, a nice kill fending off B for now, but it is a hit on both fronts. The B zone. Will be protected for now. E zone, it is going. First take of progress done. Second, surely inbound here as well. I don't know if that actually saved it. It doesn't really matter, unfortunately. It does get taken down from the back. Ways. The top heli position is a very much a power spot. Overlooking many different angles, but E zone still not done yet. St. Clair, they're fighting. They're clawing their way back into this map a little bit. The B zone with the first tick there done as well, Matt. Somehow able to dodge all that, like, <laughs> like the Matrix. Like, nothing. I think you're really even landing on him there, but. Let me tuck away in the corner. The rest of the teammates not really able to do much as you sort of see yourself start to set up, and I. It's just the body floating in there. <laughs> Never levitation, apparently. Factions, ooh, looking a little fancy there. But now Fisher College, college under 30 seconds on the clock. No full control yet. The A zone yet to be completed. The B zone has two ticks left on it, and it's St. Clair holding off. GMG got some nice kills in the feed there, and well. Trying beast to try to find these players. Fisher College start to make make their way around that B Street. GMG it may get caught here. No, actually not. I thought maybe they're gonna be able to pick him up, but here you go from the back. He's able to find one, and now the time ticking down. Someone needs to hop onto the point there. There you go. And it's just you need your teammate to watch your back, and I think that does happen, but you're not able to get the player on the B zone, but now you start to flood for St. Clair. Try and push in. Fisher College, though, they've recovered. They have more numbers now on B. Now it's four lives to six. No lives remaining for the side of St. Clair. Fisher College, two in your back pocket to spare. The A zone is starting to go. GMG is going to be on it for a brief contest. Rare. You find a kill, but unfortunately not enough time to contest the hill. It will be Fisher College now walking away. The 3-0 control. To mark a 3-0 series. For Fisher College, I mean, they were just in control of the series of most of the map. The S&D really sort of the big sort of toss-up where St. Clair was able to really go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think for St. Clair, they had some, some, some glimmers here. But it's Fisher College. With the firepower. Able yeah, to come out on top. And I guess that, that's going to be about it. Hope you guys enjoyed and... Yeah, GG's guys. I believe we'll be calling that one a night. Yeah, GG's man.